Hi, this is Sandy Joe from Rhinestone Templates, and I'm making um, this short little video here for one of our customers that needs to see how to take a TTF font, whether it's a TTF font that we've created or um, a TTF font that you've gotten somewhere else, um, how to take that and get it into your your program. So um, she has downloaded, or it has been downloaded, and as you can see here, I have this pulled up here. This is one of the fonts here that I'm just going to show you as an example. It'll come to you as an open type, true type font, or it will come as a true type font. So um, what you want to work with in WinPC is you want to work with the true type font. Um, this one here, the open type, probably has some different flourishes or different things, and in Corel you can you can load those up into Corel and work with those really well. But in WinPC we want to stick with the the true type fonts. And um, what you do is you I've downloaded it, I unzipped it, um, I went back and I found it in my my downloads, and then I opened up that download file and it shows you the different types that we have here. So now you you located the font that you want to install and so your WinPC program um, or any other programs are closed down you do not have them open and you found this in your download files and what you do is you just go ahead and you highlight it and then you just right click on it and when you right click on it it's going to ask if you want to preview it or if you want to install it you want to install it and um, you hit the install and once you do that um, it will go ahead and install it. I've already installed this one, so it's telling me that I've already installed it. And do I want to replace it? And I don't, but I just wanted to show the, it to you. So at that point, it would be installing for you. And then you could go back now into your WinPC program or any other program, and you'd be able to see it show up underneath your your true type true type fonts if that's the one that you've put in. Um, I put in the open type by accident there, but if I did it the true type, then I would go ahead and I would install that one, which I already have done too. So I don't want to replace it, but you would put um, it would you would hit the click the install that I just showed, and then it would just go ahead and install and it would be done. And then when you open up your WinPC program or any of the others, it will just show up underneath your true type fonts. And um, I hope this helps you. Um, trying to figure out how to download fonts and if not just let me know and I'll I'll try to troubleshoot for you. Thanks for watching.